A contaminated murder weapon and no sign of the convicted man's DNA. That is what we are hearing today in a courtroom where death row inmate Marcellus Williams hopes to be spared the death penalty. Fox 2's Kelly Hoskins explains the controversial case surrounding Williams, who faces execution in less than a month. Marcellus Williams is set to be executed on September the 24th and has always maintained his innocence. There are tests that indicate that Williams' DNA was not on the murder weapon. The judge allowing six hours of testimony from both sides that could stop the execution. The first person, a certified forensic interviewer who testified as an expert witness, that the two informants who helped convict Williams were enticed by a $10,000 reward. He said their statements were inconsistent and at times contradicted evidence. But the state fired back and asked the expert witness what he was being paid for the expert analysis. Meanwhile, Judge Joseph Green, who as a public defender years ago, represented Williams, said he did not have enough time to properly prepare for Williams' case because he was also representing Kenneth Bumruck in a high-profile case where he killed his wife at a St. Louis County courthouse. Green said he was denied a request for an extension. A DNA expert testified Williams' DNA was nowhere to be found to connect him to the stabbing death of former Post-Dispatch reporter Lisa Gale. She died inside her University City home in 1998. St. Louis prosecuting attorney Wesley Bell asked for the evidentiary hearing after filing a motion to vacate Williams' conviction based on DNA testing that wasn't available back then. But that hearing never happened last week after authorities revealed the DNA on the knife was contaminated by being mishandled at trial. And shocking testimony from the original prosecutor in the case, Keith Larner, who said he touched the murder weapon several times because he was told the suspect wore gloves. He also testified why he dismissed six of the seven African-American potential jurors, leaving one black juror for the trial. Last week, all parties agreed to vacate Williams' original conviction if Williams entered an Alford plea, where he maintained his innocence but acknowledged prosecutors likely have enough evidence to convict him. But Missouri's Attorney General Andrew Bailey intervened and the Missouri Supreme Court ordered today's evidentiary hearing. Reporting in Clayton, Kelly Hoskins, Fox 2 News.